Hi there, my name is Roger. I'm the communications director. The goal of this video is to help get you a bit more detail about the money involved, the opportunity, the growth of the industry and our company, what's expected of you and how you make money and how to proceed if you think that all of this is a match. In order to meet our recruiting goals, we've systemized our workflows and that includes these videos. That approach is part of the reason we're growing so fast, meaning we systemize everything, and we believe that success is a byproduct of habits. By putting as many things on autopilot as possible, with a proven roadmap, anyone can be successful, if you're willing to do the work and work the plan. Before we even really get started, I want to purposely filter out a few people. This is not network marketing, or some MLM, or some pyramid scheme, or some get-rich-quick scheme. If we're in the medical staffing business, and we're looking for ideally experienced recruiters. We may make an exception for people that have sales experience and are used to commission-driven sales and are willing to hustle, or a business owner that's used to delivering results and is willing to put in the work that it takes to succeed. We're looking for people or teams that are looking to start their own company or a division of a company and work with us. Notice I did not say W2 employees. So that also means like any business, success will vary. Some people will frankly make a lot of money and others will not. And that largely has to do with your own effectiveness. So the upside with this entire opportunity is that you will have total freedom and there's no cap on your earnings. You can really make a strong residual income that turns out to be significant for those who put in the work and deliver results. So if you're ready to be your own boss and put in the work, then this video and opportunity may be perfect for you. We should start off by saying that the healthcare industry is booming, that it largely has to do with demographics, meaning we've got an aging baby boomer population, and even in the worst of economies, there's still strong demand for healthcare. So it doesn't matter who's president or whether your economy is going up or down, healthcare is always consistent, and it's actually rising because of the aforementioned baby boomers. The demand will keep rising year after year for the next several years. We are looking to partner with other recruiting companies, one of which perhaps you'll open, to assist us with placing caregivers, RNs, LVNs, medical professionals, etc., in contract assignments nationwide. The core of our industry is the, the registered nurses, the RNs, and then also the LVNs and the CNAs, and we may over time expand into other medical staffing. And to be honest, the old school mentality of just hiring in-house recruiters ourselves and then hoping that they're as good as they say and then getting them trained, it's not gonna meet our goals both geographically. So rather than do that, we would rather just work with a network. So we're hoping that it's a fit with you. We need to partner with experienced recruiters, generally speaking, that understand what it takes to source a candidate and then recruit that candidate and get them placed. Where we excel, probably anybody in the industry, is the back office credentialing. And that is sort of our secret weapon as to why we're growing and why this is easier for you than ever has been before. And thus you can uh, make more money, right? The sourcing and the recruiting of the candidates is frankly the more profitable part, but a lot of the RNs are hard to get on the phone. They might be sleeping during the day. They might work weird hours. Once they're on the shift, they don't want to talk to you. Uh, so it is going to take some finesse. So just a bit about the healthcare industry in general. Healthcare staffing, and specifically temporary and contract staffing, is booming just partially, not just for demographics, but also there's some trends inside the medical industry as a whole towards uh, basically high-end temps, effectively. It's a difficult industry to operate in, and the main bottleneck of the industry is credentialing. So before any nurse can work on an assignment, that nurse needs to have a complete profile, and that complete profile consists of a background check, a drug test, online skills test, employment documentation, that sort of thing. So why is credentialing a bottleneck? Let's say you are just an independent recruiter and you wanna open a nurse staffing agency because you see the money that's involved and it looks attractive indeed. So what do you do first? You spend your time getting placements from hospitals. Well, you have to do both, right? So you need to have some nurses and then you also need to have the contracts from the hospitals. So finally, after a lot of hustling and working, you manage to get a single contract. Now I should specify that we've got 22 states and growing worth of placement. So we really have a wide net of people that we need candidates for, and that's why we're recruiting in the fashion that we are. 
Anyway, back to your own hypothetical agency. Let's say you get uh, finally, after a fair amount of work, and keep in mind, you're still spending money on overhead and you still have bills to pay and mouths to feed if you've got a family or a household that you live with. Bottom line, you're, you're still out there hustling to get a placement. Let's say you finally get that couple weeks in and the hospital tells you what their biggest needs are nurses and that they'll need, let's say, 10 registered nurses RNs very soon. So great, you've got an order. We'll assume that you're a spectacular recruiter and you're able to actually get 10 RNs, no problem. The hospital's calling you, then lets you know that you have 10 of them coming, you just need to get their profiles completed. And here's where it gets a little fun and complicated and why we have a solution for you. You have 10 nurses, technically zero that can be placed because zero are 100% credentialed. And it doesn't help you if they're 99% credentialed. So you're then spending all your time to get these nurses to work on their profiles, but again, they're busy. They're working weird hours, they're working shifts, they're sleeping during the day, they're spending time with their family and not answering the phone. The nurses are busy. You get the idea. At that point, two weeks has passed and the hospital's calling you for the nurses, but you still don't have one that's all the way credentialed. Let's say you've got a couple that are 25% done with their profile, a few others that are 60%, a couple more that are 80%, and finally you got one of them all the way through to completion. You're excited to place that nurse and then you call the hospital and say, okay, I want to get this person on assignment. And they say, oh, well, we filled that position uh, a week and a half ago. But we'll call you if we need your services again. So that's where the game really begins. Then what happens is you've got that overhead. So what happens a lot of times with smaller companies is they underestimate the whole credentialing process and they start cutting corners. And then they misclassify the, care, the caregiver, the uh, RN or the LP, LVN or the CNA as a 1099 and they skip the drug test or background check. And guess what? Eventually that comes out and that relationship is then dead. So you've got to go back and get uh, more placement orders before your reputation catches up to you. And eventually that reputation catch, catches up to you. And pretty soon that person's just out of business, right? We've built the company to do the right thing from day one. So no matter how painful the building process would be, we solve that for you. We don't cut any corners, and every caregiver that joins too is hired as a W-2 employee, not 1099, but W-2 employee, so they've got all the benefits that come with being an employee. Our team is joint commission certified. We can talk more on that later, but the short summary of that is it just lets the industry know that we do things the right way, and we credential every caregiver to 100%. So we are set up, we've got people handling credential. We've got a whole pipeline, right? So if you're just a sole lone gun, this really allows you to work as either a lone gun or a small office and really focus on the most profitable side of things while we have this whole pipeline and assembly line of certification handled for you. And so because they're experts, they do this day in and day out. They've seen every possible problem. They know how to handle everything. Um, we really have that nailed down for you. So in short, we've got the back of the house handled, meaning all of the nitty gritty and the benefits and the paperwork and kind of the ugly stuff and that goes with the industry so that you can focus on the front of the house, which is actually more profitable per hour once you have some traction and you kind of know what you're doing. If you already know what you're doing, you'll hit the ground running. If you don't know what you're doing, then we don't really have the time to get in the trenches and train you. You'll have to do some work. But um, for the people that are able to kind of get that flywheel spinning and then get it spinning faster and faster, they, they really can make some, some good money. And furthermore, it's residual money because of the way you get paid. So if you want to take a week off for vacation, you want to take a couple days off with your, your family and uh, go to the, the lake cabin or work on a sailboat or whatever your thing is, uh, then you don't have to worry about it because your income continues for typically the length of that contract, which is often in contract work, let's say 13 weeks, half a year. Uh, so it really can turn into some residual income that builds up over time. Let's say we're gonna expand into a new city or territory. So we'll call on you for help and say, all right, we need 30 RNs, 30 LVNs, and, and 60 CNAs in and around Los Angeles, California. So what we need is for you to get out there on the phones or on the emails or networking. What we need is you to, to bring those people to us. You need to basically get the resume, a license, and a couple basic documents, and then connect us and do a warm handoff to our team. Unless you tell us to call this caregiver, RN, LVN, at a specific time, our credentialing specialist will reach out to this caregiver immediately to start the process. Not only will we keep you informed along the way, but we encourage you to be part of the process so you kind of ease that handoff and we want you to stay involved and get the referrals from that other person and also get them replaced when their contract is up, which is how you can keep making more money and build this book of business. So once you get over that, that initial hump, you really can build this into a true business where you've got momentum 
And um, that's something that you'll never get from a job. You stop working a conventional job, and guess what? You stop getting paid. With the staffing business and an actual business that you own, you can build some momentum and really turn that into something. We know that you're involved in the process and we want you to keep that candidate happy and kind of stay in touch on both sides and, and work as a, a lubricant and an oil to uh, get those gears flowing. Periodically, we'll start in a new city and our goal at the beginning is for you to make just one placement, though of course if you're a star and you can get more, great, you'll earn more money. Your earnings will vary by the position to be, uh, but for this example, we'll use $100 per week per worker. So when you get 10 RNs placed, you should be making about a thousand bucks a week. And remember, this is without you working. It's with it's based on their effort, not yours. So you get 20 placements, you're at roughly $2,000 a week. Uh, get one per week for a year, and you're at roughly $5,200 per week, which is over 20,000 a month. Now, not all of them are going to re-up, and you, but you can also start to work the referrals and you can start to uh, build that residual income and start to really get things rolling. Top recruiters should see two to four placements per week. As long as your caregivers are working and we are billing the hospital for their labor, then you will get paid. By the way, quick sidebar, uh, the company was founded by Brandon Armstrong, who is a recruiter, understands your world. He understands that nothing happens until the recruiter brings a candidate. So he understands your world, and he frankly built the company that he wished somebody had for him, and nobody really had it available, so you, he set out to kind of build that. And now it's been growing, and we have a good thing going, and clearly other people need the same thing. So, I digress. We've got the uh, biggest and best credentialing team, and that helps smooth the whole placement system. But if we don't have a good recruiter submitting qualified candidates, we effectively have nothing. So that's where you come in. Nurses and healthcare professionals are always looking for a move up to either more money or a closer commute or a move for better weather or a move to be near family or something like that. So let's say you're st speaking to registered nurses about working a couple temporary assignments and they express interest in something more long term. Well, of course, we've got that, too. We've got f over 1500 contract assignments for travel nurses nationwide. Now, keep in mind the travel is harder to place because they have to be interested in spending time, let's say, away from their family or something like that. But I'm sure you've got some, some nurses that are up for, a, let's say, a travel stipend in Hawaii or something like that. In addition, there's a travel uh, per diem, and that can turn out to be a significant amount of money. So um, there are definitely nurses and providers who are going to be up for those because they want to either make some money and they're buying a house or who knows what, you know, maybe their personal life changes. Um, or maybe they just want to travel or be near family or something like that. So we get so many orders and requests for travel nurses every day, it's like a tsunami. The other day, we received another 72 orders in a single day. So our advice is generally we want you to have some immediate success because then you're going to be happy. You're going to start to make some money and you're like, okay, you're going to understand how things get going. Our advice is to focus on making that first placement and then a second. The sooner you get that first check and you get a deal done, you'll start to build that compounding. And if you get just one per week, then by 10 weeks later, you're at roughly $1,000 a week and you should start to get referrals and build a reputation. And then you'll get workers who renew their contracts, which is basically free money from heaven, meaning you get paid without doing much work. Now, getting going is, of course, the hardest part. This is a business. So jobs pay you immediately, but they stop paying you as soon as you stop working. This is a business and momentum is powerful, but you got to get that ball rolling. Well, you can see how this really starts to get going, but it is uh, like any business, a flywheel. You got to put in that work at the beginning and you won't see an immediate payoff. You'll, but our goal and our, our trainings and our system are to get you some payoff as quick as possible because we want you to be successful and then get over the hump and then really start making a lot of money and we'll make money together. If you place a surge tech, a surgical technician in New York City, where the cost of living is very high, that's going to carry a different rate and a different payout to you than an LVN placed in, say, New Mexico or Charleston, West Virginia, where the cost of living is very low. Another set of variables that make it difficult for us to estimate the costs 
are that we pay all the expenses. So we've got the health care, the taxes, and of course the taxes vary from state to state. We've got the credentialing and accounting. And of course we value the relationships. We would want to come up with something that's win-win and works for both of us. So for us to come up with a single hard and fast rule at this time, we really can't. Maybe we'll come up with a calculator or something like that soon. But to just place this into the video, we really can't at this time. So we need to talk to you about the individual placements, but we're happy to give you some hypothetical examples. A typical example might be Portland, Oregon nurse, and you know, payout might be $4 an hour on that. It sort of varies by the facility, the nature of the exact specifications. If it's somebody that's highly qualified, then that might carry more, and it could be less if it's something that's kind of a commodity or something like that. Keep in mind with the placement, the contract placements, these do get exciting because a typical contract might be 13 weeks. And at the end of that 13 weeks, statistically, there are decent odds that they will simply re-up their contract. By all means, get in touch with us and we will be happy to go through some specific examples so that you can get a sense for what this might look like. With all of that said, we'll pay the caregiver direct deposit through ADP. And each week we're gonna build a facility for the caregiver's time and per our agreement, Facility has 30 days to pay our invoice. Some pay sooner, some pay later, but the majority generally pay on time because they need us, uh, frankly, more than we need them. And so they generally pay promptly. As soon as we get paid, our accounting department will get you your funds. That is the overview of our opportunity. And the advice we have is really to not overthink the process and keep it simple. You can start billing quickly, start you getting paid and making some money, and then we'll let you know the cities to start with. After all, we, we want to create a mutually win-win scenario where together we can make a lot of money. Once you have some caregivers billing, then you can focus on filling some of the travel contracts and you start to build some momentum. It can really turn out to be uh, great money. Now, this isn't for everybody and we're deliberately throwing up some roadblocks because we want to scare off the wrong people and get the right people in. And we want you to know that this is a business and the success that you experience is going to be really up to you. If you want to be your own boss, you want control of your own schedule, you want uh, no limit on your earnings, this can be great. Just know that it is a business and success will vary and you're going to need to work to get it. So if, you've, if none of that has scared you, then great. We look forward to working with you. So here are your next steps. Your next step is to go to submitcandidate.com, submitcandidate.com, and at the top, click on register. Now note that if you are in the state of California, due to uh, some recent changes regarding um, Lyft and Uber, uh, that kind of thing, you have to have a company. That said, there are places where you can get a company registered very easily. I think it's something like 99 bucks. Uh, it's really not a lot of money, and then you might have to pay some state filing fees and that kind of thing. And there are some tax benefits to doing so. You can, for example, write off more easily part of your home uh, as a home office, for example, if that's, what you're, if that's where you're working. There are some benefits to being in business. So it'll cost you money, it'll save you money. And again, that's only currently in the state of California, although other states may follow suit. So just kind of We'll, we'll keep you posted as we go. But um, that's kind of obviously outside our control. But uh, anyway, we don't want it to derail you too much. You need to upload a resume. Uh, we will probably upload a, a W-9, and that's so you can get paid for taxes. Obviously, you're going to need that before your first paycheck. Once you have submitted this form, then our team will get notified. We will review it and get back to you. And usually that's within one business day. Once we do, then you'll need to click the link that we our system sends. It'll say, hey, you're approved. Uh, click on that and uh, verify your email. Now, once you are logged in, you will get to a dashboard. And this dashboard is where you can actually get to work. And you can look at review some of the jobs and you can start to get your candidates into the system and look at candidates and submit candidates for positions and stuff like that, right? You can start to get closer to actually making some money. Your first task is to go down here to Documents Library and watch all these videos. The videos are short, right? This one's two minutes. In the right side here, that little squarish icon, you can click that and make it full screen if you wanted to, make it a little easier to understand, uh, especially some of the you know details of submission, that kind of thing. And uh, But all of this information is stuff you need to know, and that said, it's generally pretty short, right? Three minutes and 20 seconds, four minutes. You can kind of plow through this stuff and, and really get up to speed and then start to play with the system and I think that you'll you'll understand if you still have questions after that by all means reach out to our team you'll you, you will receive that information you'll receive some onboarding um, emails and uh, we look forward to working with you congratulations